Hi everybody, and I'm back for another tip on uh, for Pain Awareness Month. Um, so, what am I going to tell you today? Today, I wanted to talk about mood and mood boosting and why it's important. Basically, your pain perception is really linked to your brain and your um, happiness and. Uh, I don't know how better to describe it than that really, but we, what we do know is that boosting mood will improve your um, ability to deal with pain. It reduces how much you perceive the pain. Um, the best example I've got is if you sort of bashed yourself when you're feeling in a great mood and you're really happy, you don't tend to care. You just tend to get on with it and be like, oh, silly me. Um, and then, but it's, if you knock, you, you knock yourself and you're, you're cold and miserable and grumpy, oh my God, the tiniest little thing will just send you through the roof. Um, so that's, that's the best example I can really come up with. But what we know is that um, sometimes pain is actually controlled medically with using antidepressants because, again, we know that pain is linked. Um, so there is actually some amazing websites out there and some amazing pages out there to give you some ideas on things that you can do to boost mood. Um, so, for instance, there's a page on Facebook called... Um, um, canine enrichment um, and I absolutely love that page because you can just scroll through and see what things might work for your dog um, and give them some um, improvements in their things that they do on a daily basis just to keep them keep them happy um, but one of the things that I like to suggest to people uh, I quite like the sort of activity boxes um, I call them sniff boxes or the local newspaper box um, what I mean by that is I send people out to go and you know, particularly the dog can't get out and about is that you can send them out well, go out with a box, collect things from your local area. It might be pine cones, bits of grass, from leaves, um, just random things from random areas. And the point is that dogs smell everything and they've got such an incredible sense of smell. So if you go and collect all those little bits and bobs, shove them in a box, pop them in your living room and let your dog sniff through that. And that is the equivalent of us sitting and reading the newspaper for half an hour. And hopefully you've just picked up all the things from all the happy dogs and then that'll help your dog be happy too. <laughs> um, so, but that's just one idea of absolutely tons. Honestly, go on the canine enrichment page and you will see loads of ideas for bo boosting mood. And there's also other things that you can do like um, the dog appeasing pheromone uh, adaptil, um, there's also like Pet Remedy have got the smells. There's loads of sniff station stuff. I have sniff stations in my room. There's music you can play. Um, we know uh, classical music, uh, well, actually reggae music is supposed to be the most chilling for dogs, actually, funnily enough. Um, but, you know, anything that you can do that will boost, boost mood is a really good idea. So get on it, get to it, get boosting mood, and I'll check in for you for another tip um, soon. Take care. Bye-bye.